What's up everyone, welcome back to TV Box Top, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. Today's video features a projector by Vankyo called the Leisure 470R and it's bundled with a Roku Express media player. So as much as the concept of having a Roku projector sounds exciting, as we have seen lots of models featuring Android boxes and some even have Android operating systems, we finally have a model featuring Roku. Though it's not built into its hardware, it's compatible with the device. So in this review, we take a look at what there is to gain from this model and of course a full review of its hardware and firmware features. So that's right after this quick unboxing. Welcome back. During this unboxing on their website and in their user manual, there is no mention of brightness or contrast levels, which is quite unusual. With that said, the specs are as follows. It has a native resolution of 1280 by 720p. It has an aspect ratio of 43 and 16 to 9. Its light source is LED and its display type is LCD. It has 30,000 hours of LED lamp life manual vertical keystone correction, manual focus adjustment, and it has a 3 watts 4 ohm speaker. The box contains the projector itself, one infrared remote control, one AC power cable, a lens cleaning kit, and a user manual for the projector. As mentioned, bundled in this purchase is your Roku Express model and it includes a remote, power adapter, batteries and cables. The size of this model places it in the medium size category and its body is made of plastic with a dimension of 7 and 3 quarter inches wide by 5 and 3 quarter inches long by 3 inches tall. At the front you have its projector lens and a front facing IR sensor hidden behind the VanQ logo. To its right side for IO ports it has two HDMI input ports, one USB 2.0 port, a headphone jack, one AV port a micro SD card slot and its exhaust vent. To its right side features its AC power socket and its intake vent. The top features manual press button controls, a manual focus adjustment wheel and a vertical keystone correction wheel. Its base features four anti-skid rubber feet, a screw type kickstand, its internal speaker and a screw mounting hole for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount. When you start up this projector, it starts with a Vankyo splash screen, the option to select your language, then you're taken to its main menu. On startup, it's programmed to boot directly onto its HDMI source input given that you will be connecting the Roku media player. However, before I feature the player, I will give you a quick walkthrough of its projector features. So without the Roku media player connected, this is its main menu. It's a simple menu that's easy to navigate and it has shortcuts to access media from storage devices connected to its USB port and micro SD card slot. On the remote, even using its manual controls, if you press the menu button, you will gain access to the settings area. Here you will find its picture settings to change its picture mode from a selection of presets or you can use your own user custom settings. You can change its color temperature. its aspect ratio, its noise reduction level, its projection direction, and its zoom settings. Under sound settings, you can change its sound mode from a selection of presets or you can use your own custom treble and bass levels. You can adjust its balance and there is an auto volume function. And the final settings are your system options where you can change its language, restore to factory default option, you have a blending option, you can set a timer for the on-screen display. There is a blue screen filter and you have software updates via USB and that's the settings area. For plain media, it has your standard image looping software with transitions.
and for video playback, it can play 1080p videos, but it does not have any surround sound audio decoders. Yes, we made it. The movie's about to start. Here you go. Please do not film or take photos. Please turn off your cell phones. Remember that smoking is not allowed. Hi. And the fire extinguishers are strategically located. So moving on to the Roku Express Media Player. So as mentioned, the Roku Express is not built into the projector. You have to connect it via HDMI as you would with any other streaming device such as the Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV Stick or Cube. If you never used the Roku before or have a Roku account, upon startup you would have to connect to your Wi-Fi network and create a new account that you would have to register on your Mac or PC. Once you have created and registered your account, you have access to Roku's library of free and premium content. You can access movies, Kids programming. Just a trim, please. Boris Agent Kratos. TV series. The news and sporting channels. Early with a patriotic drone show in Sepulpa. It's happening tonight near Kelly Lane Park. These are some photos from a previous year. This is a great opportunity. So the Roku Express Media Player is basically the selling point of this purchase and the projector is more or less the display that goes along with it. I must say that the 720p projector looks very much like 1080p. It's got bright lumens, evenly distributed focus and sharp edges. If you are interested in Bluetooth audio, that feature is not available on this projector nor is Wi-Fi screen mirroring. However, you do get to connect Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers directly to the Roku Express. So that brings to an end of this review. Special thanks to Vankyo for sending this bundle for review. It's a budget offer, currently priced at around $139. So if you would like a projector along with a Roku Express media player, see the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up to show your support. As usual, links in the description are my affiliate links which provide the means for me to acquire new products for review. So thanks in advance for your support. If you are just landing on one of my videos for the first time, then be sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to receive notifications when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.